Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide And the match that drew a spark was a single stolen kiss And if that ain't love I've kept my feelings grounded And gone without all kip within Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I'm doing an old-fashioned potato soup. This is like uh, probably you had back in the 50s and 60s and your mamas and Grandmother's probably made it for you, and uh, I know Calvin said that uh, his mother made it for him, but um, he didn't have any of the extra ingredients in it. He just had potatoes <laughs> and water, but I'm going to put just a few more uh, ingredients in this soup today. And so uh, let me get started. I'm chopping up my vegetables, and I hope everyone is having a good day today. And uh, here in Georgia, it's uh, going to be partly cloudy today, and right now it's mostly cloudy. So, let me get started. When you make your uh, potato soup, you want to cut your potatoes in big chunks. potatoes um, already cut up and washed and so now I'm going to be adding in my uh, onion. This is a half a cup of onion and a half a cup of celery and this is three tablespoons of flour and I'm going to add in some kosher salt to taste and some cracked white pepper. Okay. Now then I'm going to stir all this together. Thank you. 
what it's seasoning. Okay, it smells really good. <laughs> Those are good and coated now. I'm going to let my uh, potatoes sit here for about uh, 10 minutes and then I'm going to go over here to my pot and um, melt a stick of butter. Okay, I just added my stick of butter in my pan and I'm going to turn it on to about medium heat and let it melt. And when it melts, I'm going to add in my potatoes. If you hear a lawnmower in the background, our neighbors are cutting grass again. <laughs> this is what me and Kevin is having for lunch today. I'm going to enjoy it, Marie. Yeah. It's going to remind me of when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> now I've had potato soup plenty of times. Mm. I tell you something that I really enjoy that I haven't cooked is lately is some pinto beans. That's uh, what that's what we had as a kid. We'd have pinto beans, yeah. potato soup, and cornbread. Yeah. And we'd have that several times a week. Yeah. That was it, in the good days. If you had, you know, if you had cornbread, you considered that to be a good day. <laughs> well. I've had plenty of cream potatoes and potato soup in my life, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding a little bit, but we did grow up poor. And I ate my share of pinto beans and, and potatoes. <laughs> Mama knew how to cook potatoes. She'd cook them uh, so many different ways you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> but I think well, fried. When, I think when you come from a big family, you have to learn how to stretch your budget. <laughs> Oh, and she did, and we had a big family for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying not to make so much racket, but I hear myself making racket. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn that back up now. It's just about all melted. So now then I'm going to add in my... Uh, potatoes and celery and onions and uh, you're supposed to let them sit about 10 minutes before you um, add them in so these have been sitting for about that long so now I'll add them in let me turn it around so you can see it better potatoes when I was growing up. I really love fried potatoes anyway you make them. Yeah. Did your mother ever cook you any what like what we call hoe cakes? Uh, yeah. I she loved, did. I loved hoe cakes. <laughs> but I like mine with a tomato and you melt your, you fry your bacon and you put that in your to, um, canned tomatoes and then you put your uh, hoe cake down in your tomatoes and eat them. I used to love that when I was a kid. I, I know you probably didn't ever eat that. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, now I've got that all good and coated. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'll add in my chicken broth. And you can just use plain water if you don't have chicken broth. I don't think my mother used chicken broth. Okay. And it, okay, the recipe says to cover your potatoes. So I didn't have an, quite enough chicken broth, so I'm going to use water. Okay. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to add my milk. Let me turn my eye up a little bit. And when it comes up to a boil, I'll be back. Okay, this has come to a um, roaring boil now and so I'm going to um, add in my uh, milk. This is evaporated milk. I'm going to add the whole can in. Stir this around a little bit now, and then I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. Okay, I'm going to let this cook for about 25 or 30 minutes until my potatoes are tender. Mm, it really smells good, these onions in here and celery. Okay, okay, when I'll... Um, 25 minutes is up, I'll be back. Okay, my uh, potato soup is done now, and so I'm going to make me and Calvin a cheese sandwich, so I'm going to turn my pot off and let it sit here and cool a little bit while I make my sandwich. Look at those big chunks of potato. Mmm, they look delicious. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. My uh, chunky uh, potato soup is done now, so I'm going to uh, dip me and Calvin a bow out. Mm. Just those big chunks of potato look so inviting. <laughs> mm. Mm. Kevin what did he want for lunch today and yesterday we made a summertime meal and he, he still wanted potato soup <laughs> so it's not so summertimey but anyway that's probably not a word but <laughs> anyway so I did it for you Calvin. <laughs> Okay. Well, it looks delicious, Marie, okay. and I can't wait to eat it. You know what toppings I want on mine, right? Yeah, I do. We didn't cook us no real bacon, but we got something that'll work. <laughs> this is our lunch. We didn't want to stay in the kitchen all day. <laughs> cheese sandwich to go with it. It is kind of cool here today, so. <laughs> right. Okay, I think this is going to make us a good lunch. And um, I just made use of what I had today. I had some potatoes, and so I said, I need to use this up. And Calvin says, I know how you can use them up. He said, you make me some potato soup. <laughs> So anyway, this is our potato soup, and so I'm going to taste one little bite of it and hope it don't burn my mouth. <laughs> this cheese is wanting to be real good and stringy. Okay. 
Okay now, Calvin, if this is not like Mama's, you make it next time. Mmm. <laughs> I think you'll be mighty pleased with this soup. Mm, it's really good. Mm. So this is my old-fashioned potato soup. And um, I hope you will try this recipe out. It's real easy. And so I hope everybody has a good day today. And so do what you love and love what you do. And see you in the next video. Bye. On a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me